Hi, I'm Carly Frank, and this is your Sutton Scoop. Today I'm here with Katie Brendan from ook.ca. Mm -hmm. So tell us about Ook. Um, ook is a, a Okanagan-based online website that features all arts and cultural and the arts and cultural events in the Okanagan. So we have events listings. We have stories written by artists and dancers and musicians and oh, cultural producers who are keen to get the word out about their events and just. Um, basically let people know that there's tons of really great arts and cultural stuff happening in the Okanagan. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. so, so what inspired ook.ca? Um, it all started from a listserv that I started in October 2009, um, which was a takeoff of some listservs that I had belonged to when I lived near Toronto and Vancouver, where they sent you a listing once a week of everything that was going on in the galleries. And I thought, this is a great service. So I started doing that, and I did that for a year and a half, and had always dreamt of making it into a website, and then finally found someone who we could work with. And that I collaborate with Jason Vance, who's got a... Um, design background oh, and um, so then we started making Oog and it's very much it, it also came out of some conversations I had with people where we know of really great things that are happening in Okanagan but they're all in little pockets everywhere and yeah. you have to know so and so to know what's going on there and you have to know such and such to know what's going on there and I said I want everything to be in one spot to kind of create this you know shining beacon of arts and culture in the Okanagan where everyone knows where to look yeah and everyone knows where to post Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. So how does one get involved? How mm -hmm. does one post? So um, on our website, if you go under the events tab, which lists all the events in Kelowna and Penticton and Vernon and everywhere in between, there's a link that says submit your own event, and it's just an online interface that you fill out. Yeah. And it's free for anyone to, to submit at any time, and then we post it for you, and that goes onto our website, which is then available to be searched 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and then it also goes into our weekly newsletter that goes out every Thursday. So that's one way. Oh, awesome. And then we also um, have OOK contributors. So we have a really awesome team of dancers and writers and artists and anyone who's interested in arts and culture in any way um, writing features for us about once or twice every week. Okay. So they're profiling their friends and they're profiling projects that they're involved in or just projects that they're interested in. So we invite anyone, whoever is making content about Arts and culture, arts and culture in the Okanagan to contact us and say, "I've got, I'm doing this really interesting thing. Would you a like to know about it? B like to write about it? Or C have us write about it, or the person creating it write something about it?" Oh, cool. So we're pretty open to anything, and we do have some guidelines on the website. If you go under um, about, and then there's a tab that says contribute, it just says some of the things we're kind of looking for, but we're yeah. really open to. Just about anything. Just about anything that fits under the very loose umbrella of arts and culture. We're happy to have. Oh, this is quite the website. Mm -hmm. So what's the hottest thing in the community right now? <sighs> I on? think the most exciting thing that's going on right now is the creation of the Hubs Art Collect a Hub Art Collective, which is um, put together by an actor named Matt Brown. Okay. Who's taken over uh, a space on the... Main Street of Vernon. Yeah, I have heard. Yeah. yeah, and he's created a black box theater, and um, of which I don't believe beyond Powerhouse and the Performing Arts Center there is one. So here's a place where people can come perform bands, they can do poetry readings, they could have lectures, oh, and he rents it out to anyone. Um, there's also a gallery in the front space as well, and then upstairs there's artist studios. So there's about, I think, between four and six artists renting space out there, and they, you know, provide classes. They're doing once a week. Um, figure life drawing. Oh, wow. That kind of thing. And then another really fun thing that's, um, I've been to one of them, was really fun. Um, uh, Kevin McPherson, who's a creative writing prof up at Okanagan College, who's uh, also a stand-up comedian, I found out a little while ago, <laughs> has started doing these things called Oh, I hope, Kevin, I hope I get your name right. Um, Good Morning Poetry Talk Show Live or something like yeah. that. And so it's a mixture of his comedy act with, like, late night talk show where he has guests on. And so the week that I went, um, a young um, five-year-old came up dressed as Spider-Man and he read, oh, some, he read some poems that Spider-Man had read and performed. <laughs> and then um, Christine um, Pilgrim came in and performed some different um, interactive um creation of poetry kind of things and so it was very fun oh, so wow. you know if, if you want to go and just have a good night learning about all these different speakers he's going to be bringing in and just enjoying Kevin's wit yeah do go and it's all on you call the event all the info is there oh awesome mm -hmm. well thank you so much and I wish you all the best thank you Ta -da.